and I thought to myself, of all places that one had to hear that one was nominated for an Academy Award, you had to be in rehab. So I went out to uh, Sunsets and the Coldwater Canyon looking at these homes, beautiful like this one. And within 10 minutes, I was handcuffed to a tree. Introducing Celebrity Soul Traveler. A breakthrough docuventure series that chronicles the inspirational stories of celebrities on extraordinary journeys of the soul. Our travelers abandon the safety of their everyday lives and are tested physically and emotionally as they journey to amazing locations in search of self-discovery. Hosted by Emmy Award-winning actress Tracy Bregman of CBS's The Young and the Restless, Tracy has held a number two TVQ rating in daytime programming, as well as being number one at CBS. When we sit down with these celebrities, they become just like us. Welcome to Celebrity Soul Traveler. Join me, life coach Libby Gill, and radio therapist David Chatsky as we share these emotional and compelling stories with you. And uh, for Libby to play on my team, you can bet she's got her ducks in a row. Why is travel good for the soul? And why do we feel the need to move beyond our borders to transform what we know? I'm Tracy Bregman, and you're about to find out through one woman's extraordinary journey. Do you want to take me to the day after the Golden Globes? I admitted myself into rehab. We all watched her through a time in her life where we thought she was on top of the world, and yet her whole world was crushing. It was crashing down. And while in rehab, she was nominated for an Oscar. I cannot believe that I'm sitting here alive. I was out of control. And addiction and control often go hand in hand. I'm afraid that I'm going to be kicked. Her fear of horses comes from the feeling that she cannot control them. This inner and outer journey made in New Mexico may be emotionally one of the most difficult things she has ever had to do. By facing her fear of horses, she may overcome a greater fear, speaking out about her addiction. One of the most terrifying things I ever could have done. Lou Gossett Jr. has chosen to go to South Africa. It was Martin Luther King, and I was a friend of his. When I went down to Alabama, I could not walk peacefully because I didn't learn that from the streets of Brooklyn. When Lou came to Hollywood in the 50s, he was confronted with a double standard. He was even subjected to racial slurs on some of his film sets, a world away from his boyhood Brooklyn. As soon as I crossed that street, I was stopped six times. Slowly but surely, I got the subtle difference. And the subtle difference is, is that you can and you can't. But he didn't let that deter him from following his dream and claiming his place amongst the Hollywood elite. And when I won an Academy Award, the ultimate disappointment was not getting any phone calls or any work for quite a while. When Lou went to Cape Town in 1990 to see Nelson Mandela released from Robben Island Prison, he carried feelings of resentment and expectation. His life was harder than anything that I'd have to face as far as racism is concerned. I, I uh, demonstrated against apartheid. I was in Cape Town at the time. And uh, when he came out, everybody was holding their breath. And he came out with a smile. So that point, and that man coming out of that place, convinced me, that because of his behavior, that that's the way to go. I can't wait to see him in that spot where he had this life-altering moment that truly changed the course of his life personally and spiritually. They, they know that there has to be something more to their life. They want it to be meaningful. The first soul traveler was a young woman named Jessica Basto, who was haunted by the horrible suicide of her favorite uncle. His death divided her family and left a gaping hole in her heart. The guy who, who gave me happiness <sighs> killed himself. Jessica set out alone on a marine expedition to Antarctica. She hopes that by facing the vast and desolate continent, she may conquer her own feelings of loss and loneliness and calm the waters of her turbulent life. The inexplicable loss of someone who gives no sign that they are desperate or tired of life or can't cope. It's so confusing. Life just seems turned upside down. Nature has a wonderful and powerful impact. You thought you found a friend to take you out of the 
The Celebrity Soul Traveler roster is made up of diverse and fascinating individuals from film and television, sports, music, and politics, all with compelling stories to share. The destinations are equally amazing, including Peru, Cambodia, Thailand, the Australian Outback, Nepal, Western Samoa, and Antarctica. Create a valuable environment for your sponsor's targeted advertising message. Because daytime draws such huge numbers and reality TV is hotter than ever, take this and add mainstream celebrity for a winning combination. To ensure advertising dollars have maximum influence, we can tailor branded entertainment opportunities such as text message campaigns, incorporating sponsored products into program content, and expanding sponsor messages from the second to the third screen. Take advantage of the hottest new media advertising platform. This show is raw and emotional. It's unrehearsed. This is a groundbreaking, inspirational show. I don't think there is a show on the air anywhere that is like this. Maybe there's something I could change in my life. Or, oh, wait, if she could do it, I could do it. Bill is a, is a breath of fresh air because of, uh, it's, it's a healing show. This is a show that people need to see. We may not know where we're going or what we'll find when we get there, but that is exactly what being a soul traveler is all about. I'm Tracy Bregman, and I invite you to consider a journey of your own. The world is waiting. Celebrity Soul Traveler. Celebrity Soul Traveler is available exclusively from Jaboda Productions.